Hey beauties, welcome to Lux the Blue, where luxury meets affordable fashion. And today is my episode three for my Lux for Less series. These items that I'm featuring today, they're hot, they're new, they're fresh. Everybody wants them, but not everybody wants to pay the price. So let's get started and I can't wait to show you. Okay, the first feature of the day are these fabulous mock and mock crystal heel pumps, or satin pumps, I should say. When I saw these at Nordstrom's, I about died when my husband and I were out having a lunch date. And he's like, I don't know those are quite pricey. I said, I know, but honey, they are so fabulous. The detail on the crystal of the bow, when this is wrapped on your foot. I love something that's really opulent like this. I mean, when the crystals are very well made, they also have these in a plexiglass, which I have the mule version of. They have them in a beautiful royal blue color that I'm dying for, but they are a little pricey at like 11 or 12, maybe a little bit more. I'll get the exact price on them, but they're very, very pricey. And they're a new trendy shoe. Mock and Mock is I think pretty new to the market. A lot of people just are like, mm, I really, really love that shoe, but I just don't want to pay the price. I actually was able to find a Lux for Less version for you. And we are going to compare them side by side. I found this on Amazon. <sighs> I'm a little disappointed in it. Let's first of all, let's just examine it here really quickly. Let's talk about the bow. The most opulent, most eye-catching thing, in my opinion, on this shoe is the bow of the Mock and Mocks. I mean, it's stunning. You'll see that thing coming 10 feet down the road. It's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. The bow on this little Lux for Less beauty here is, you know, she's, she's not as, you know, opulent, I should say. That's number one opinion. And as far as the quality of the embellished crystals, they're not as good as quality. The crystals are not, which is huge because when you see those little sparkle and shines come in, it's gotta be good. The luster over here, it's lost its luster. Secondly, the strap that goes up and on the shoe, it is just not, it's just not opulent. This strap is absolutely thick and gorgeous. And when you wrap it, so you can see the difference of these on my foot because it's very, very important because when this is wrapped, it is just like a beautiful, like gorgeous, thick crystal embellishment as to where the Amazon version is just a really thin, it's just kind of limp and thin. And then on the Amazon version, the heel is much shorter. The Mock and Mocks, they all, I don't think, I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure they all have the same heel height. And this heel height makes a difference. It's not super high and it's not super low, but let me tell you what it's gonna do on your foot. It's going to elongate it. It's going to make your foot and the shoe look absolutely sexy and even just more beautiful on your foot because the heel of the way that it's gonna stand back there with this cool embellishment it's just gonna be fantastic. I think the heel was a disappointment. Overall, I'm not liking this Lux for Less. <laughs> when this came in, I was pretty disappointed in this Lux for Less. I did do a little bit of research and I happened to find another one by a company called Bellini Shoes. And it looks like from the pictures, all these characteristics I just named here, which were a little disappointing on the Lux for Less for this one, that the Bellini shoe seems to have a little bit better. You could check that one out. That may be a little bit of better option. And then let's talk about the last feature is you know it's satin so the shoe as far as material wise goes they're satin satin is satin I mean I don't think you can make much better quality satin so all in all this Lux for less was a little disappointing I'm gonna have to say the Lux version on this one definitely a thumbs up and the Lux for less is definitely a thumbs down but again that Bellini version could be a, a winner winner in my book our next item up on the docket is some fabulous little embellished bags. Aren't they fabulous? Do you think you can tell me which is the Lux and which is the less? This is the luxury version at $1,495. And this is the Amazon version at $49.95. Oh, whoa, nail it. Let me tell you the true story on this bag here, okay? I was in Neiman Marcus a few months back and I was just perusing as I usually do. And I saw this bag on the model and I said, oh my God, I've got to have that bag. I was going somewhere. Please pull it down. Please pull it down. And I thought, oh, this, this will be like three or $400. No big deal. I'll grab it. It's so fabulous. She pulled it down and she goes, it's $1,895. Oh, 
I was like, this little guy? Oh my goodness. Now, that one was $1,800 because the inside of it had leather pouch. So this has got like a little satin finish. So the $1,895 one was all leather, which was really cool. I loved it. It was fabulous, but almost $2,000 for a bag that I'm just gonna use. Not all the time, it's not an everyday bag. This is like a show bag. And I mean, it's so fabulous, don't get me wrong, but I couldn't justify the cost. So I said, okay, well, she can stay right there. <laughs> and I am going to see if I could do a little research on this because it just didn't seem logical. I was like, that just didn't seem right. Now, the company who makes this is out of Italy. It's called Rosantica. And they make some fabulous, gorgeous, little boutique-ish, jeweled, embellished bags. Their stuff is amazing. Do I think it's worth the cost? We're gonna talk about that a little bit more in depth right now. And if for any of you who follow me as well, you know that anything pearls, I am a sucker for. That was the first thing that caught my eye on the, the model was the pearl embellished handle. Oh my gosh. Went home, did some research. I was a little peeved. It is what it is. I just wasn't ready to pull the trigger on that. I did some research and I found <laughs> this beauty on Amazon for $49.95. I mean, hello. I've used it in numerous shoots for Express and a couple of reels. This bag is just as good. This is where we're at today on the Lux version. So this bag is just not as lux as I think my Amazon bag is. And plus, if you can see here, the actual Amazon one is bigger, which I really like because I have a hard time fitting my own little phone in here. Here I can get a phone, a lipstick, and something else in it. So it's much more functional. Price is much better, easier on the wallet. And it looks just as beautiful. I mean, come on. So fantastic. On this one, thumbs up for the Lux for Less version. I mean, this is a beautiful bag. If this is your budget and you like it and they do have a lot more options with this bag. They do like some really cool Statue of Liberty, Eiffel Tower bags. I mean, their stuff is fantastic. And I also wanted to go over the quality of the stones on this bag versus the Lux version. It's pretty darn close. For me, if the stone quality was like so much more superior, I'm gonna show you another bag here in a minute where the leather is just insanely off the chain, then you know, the Lux version is gonna be worth it. So when I'm comparing these with their stones. This one has little pearls in, in webbed with it, but it, they do have a version where it's all stones just like this one. It's not much better or much different. Again, this one does have that little big pearl right here for, versus this one's the same size of the pearl on the handle all the way through. But when I'm comparing side by side and I see the stones, it's not much of a difference. And that is to me, definitely another reason I would opt for the Lux for Less version of this for sure. And the other thing that I think is very important to be pointing out on something like this, which is basically I call them like a show bag or an elegant bag that you're gonna wear. Not every day, it's not an everyday bag. So then again, you have to think about your cost per wear or your return on your investment. You know, are you gonna be wearing this one a month, once every other month, and then times that by the days of the month, and then divide that by the cost that you paid for it, you know, which one are you gonna get more bang for, you know? The Lux for less, for sure. I mean, that's very important when you're factoring in, especially on an item that you're not gonna be wearing all the time. On to our next item. Okay, beauties, this next item on the docket. If you are even remotely alive on social media or in your fashion magazines, you are going to see this shoe all over the place, the, all over the runways. It's the platform. Some of you are gonna love it, some of you are gonna hate it. Yes, the platforms are back. And the Versace platform with the crystal and embellished ankle strap is huge right now. Do we think that these are the Lux version or do we think that they're the less version? Yeah, so my husband said, Melissa, I don't care if you paid $1 for those shoes or if you paid $1,000 for those shoes. He says those are the ugliest things I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I got it, I get it. Thank you, husband. At the same time, I think fashion is fun. That's what I love about fashion. You are able to express yourself in a unique manner, whatever is going on at the time, it's fun. Have fun with it, it may not be here forever, and this shoe is the epitome of that. Yes, it's in right now. Do people love it? Do they hate it? Who knows? If you love it, that's all that matters. Are you really 
love in the price or you really love it that much to actually go out and spend $17 or $1,800 for the real Versace version. Yes, and I'm very proud to say that these are the Lux for Less right here and they look darn good. I was in the Versace store. I went in there to take a look and peruse and see with my own eyes if the shoe was worth the hype because I had to see it for myself because I was loving it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can look like five feet taller and they're so fantastic. I love the crystal embellishments on it. I mean, I'm like, yes, I'm going to go check it out. So I was in their store and they're pretty, they don't like you to video in their store or take pictures or anything. So I was lucky enough to get this footage here that I'm showing you up here and I've seen the shoe in person. Okay. So I don't have it here because I'm not going to spend $1,800 on this shoe because in my opinion, it's not worth it right off the gate. Although these are super fun, I'm going to get super hazed by my husband on a daily basis when I wear them, which I don't care. Maybe they'll stay here till fall, but I think they're going to be out pretty quickly. So this is something that I would just opt for the Lux for Less version. And they're so fun. They come in every single color. These are from Amazon. They have them in the beautiful royal blue, the yellow, the purple, the hot pink. I got the black because I think that's what I'm going to wear the most of. And you can wear them with shorts. You can wear them with denim. You can wear them with a dress. And the only thing they're lacking is the crystals. I actually did the diameter of the crystals. They're exactly the same. The left shoe of the Versace has the Medusa medallion on it. So that's how you tell the difference if they're the luxury or the Lux for Less. They don't have the medallion on the right ankle. That's the only difference. And this Lux for Less is so good because they have the black bottom. A lot of the Lux for Less versions I was looking at, they had like a tan bottom, which made them look kind of, it really cheapened the look of it. Or their platform was so big. If you see this platform, this is almost a replica of the one of the Versace. It's insane in the membrane, I'm telling you. I was so pleasantly surprised with this Lux for Less. I mean, really, really good. Quality of the satin, like I said, I've sat in a satin and I've seen the satin ones in person in the Versace store. This is where your dollar and your bank for your money is right here. Unless you're just, you know, free money just at your leisure to spend, you go get those Versace's. They are highly sought after, so they're very hard to get. I'll try to link what I can down below for you all. So excited that I went the Lux for Less version on this. I'm gonna be very, very happy with it. I was very excited about this one. I was hoping they're gonna be just as good in person because sometimes they're not. And like I said, the brown soles were driving me crazy. I thought it really cheapened it. So I wanted something that looked just as good. On to the next. Okay, so the next item that is on the docket today is another shoe. I am shoe and purse crazy. But today I wanted to show and feature this shoe on here because a couple of different reasons. Number one, it's probably one of the most famous shoes on the market. Number two, everybody wants a pair. And I wanted to tell you my story of how I got the shoes and the Lux for Less version out there, how you can get it and what you can do. The shoe is the Sex in the City Manalo Blahnik shoe. I think it was my first designer pair of shoe that my husband bought me a long time ago. You know, obviously my channel is Lux of Blue and it's the Royal Cold bought blue. They're just absolutely stunning. My favorite thing about this shoe is number one, it's eclectic, it's timeless, it's never going to go out of style, and you can pop this with jeans and a t-shirt and look so chic for any special occasion, and you are going to be so chic and amazing and beautiful, and this shoe is just fabulous. Another thing I want to point out about the shoe is that it is extremely comfortable. I talked about, I think it was episode one on Christian Louis Vuitton. I love them. Every Everybody loves the Red Soul Beauty, but they're not as comfortable as they look. I have worn this shoe for hours down in New York City, everywhere, here and about in Dallas, and it is just a great, great shoe for the price. Definitely highly recommend it. Now again, before I had this shoe, before I was married and living that single life, I had the Badgley Mishka version. And I'm gonna put it up on the screen because I wore the crap out of that one. I had to actually throw it away because it was doomed. In my opinion, the Badgley Mishka is an excellent option for the Manolo Blahnik Sex in the City shoe. Now these shoes come in every single color under the sun. I think I have like four or five other ones now. Yeah, they're just gorgeous. And the Badgley Mishka come in a lot of array of colors as well. And the beautiful signature cobalt blue this is what they come into, which is, I think, everyone's starter package for the Manalo Blahnik. I just wanted to quickly point that out. You know, when I was in that single life, I would come home on a Friday night and I would bake a pizza and I would sit in my bed. I would binge watch my Sex in the City episodes. So I'm a huge fan. And so when I got to add these beauties to my collection, it was such an honor. When I have things in my closet of luxury items, they are a collection for me. 
me and they're a collector's item and I take care of them and they stand the test of time. When I am thinking about should I add that luxury item into my closet, it's always is that going to stay there? Is it going to be here and get my ROI out of it? So it's really, really important. But I wanted to point out these and that you can get the Vagily Mishkas. The Vagily Mishkas are not cheap. They are, I want to say, sometimes you can get them at Nordstrom's rack for like $99, but I think on average they run $169 or $159. I'll have to put it up on the screen here. So it's not super, super cheap. And you know, I, a long time ago, I found a Lux for Less version on Amazon of this shoe and it was like $89, but they've since got rid of them and I've searched high and low for them. So if I happen to see them, I'll add them at the bottom for linking purposes for y'all. This is a shoe to add to your collection hands down. And the Badgley Mishka is a fantastic option for quality and for look. Just wanted to share. Okay, the next item. <laughs> Another shoe. I'm sorry. I have a bag next. I promise. I felt it was important because these shoes are very trendy and still alive on the market today. And I want to share with you why I have the Lux for Less version of them. It is the Bottega Veneta basket weaved or whatever you want to call them weaved meal shoe. And I have them in the black. Now, I have been into the Bottega Veneta store a few times because I have a couple of their bags, number one. And so I have tried this luxury version on numerous times. I'm like, yeah, it's really pretty, but I think I really don't need that luxury version because I'm not sure if I'm going to be wearing it for a really long time. Well, here we are. I've had these for a year and a half now, but I still don't crave the luxury version. And let me tell you why. So these look just as beautiful as the real ones do. I mean, look at this. They even have this bottom rubber. They're a very comfortable shoe. The most important feature of the shoe on the luxury version, why it makes it such a bang and it's so amazing. This piece of that goes over the foot right here is very thick. If you had them side by side, this is not as thick as opulent, but if you didn't have the luxury version next to it, it looks pretty good. And I think that's why my brain just couldn't grasp getting around buying the luxury version because this little piece here wasn't as much of a pop as the luxury. You know, these are just as good. This is the same exact color. The black is fantastic. I'm sticking with these Amazon, trusty old Amazon. This is fantastic. So I just wanted to share these because I mean, these things I think are almost $1,200 at Bodega and these were I think $49 on Amazon. So I mean, that is a great buy and a great fit for me now. And for some of you who do not want to get the luxury version, but want that look. Now, one more thing, you know, of course the Bodegas are going to have that gorgeous Italian leather in them. Don't get me wrong. I love me a good leather piece, but these are just as good in person. This is like a faux leather. I mean, this looks pretty darn good in person. I have to say that these little guys have been really good to me for the last year and a half at $49.95. So anyways, just wanted to share. Okay. We're on to the last featured item of the day and I am very excited. We've left the best for last. Okay. Lux version, less version, Lux, less, which one, which one? Lux, less, with Dega Veneta cassette chain bag. Obsessed with this bag, so obsessed with it. I got this bag when we were in the Bahamas a couple months back. I lucked out because we didn't have to pay the sales tax on it. And so I saved myself about $500. When I saw it in the store, first of all, it's the color. I had been eyeing this bag for quite some time. I was thinking about executing on the tan cream color, but it just, I'm like, ah, oh, everyone's got it. I kept waiting for them to launch new colors and then they launched the teal green and I just wasn't a huge fan of it. So I was like, okay, let's maybe I should just get the white. And then we went to the Bahamas and this little beauty was just staring at me at the store and I had to pick her up and she was g -g 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 gorgeous. Okay. Let's talk about, first of all, what the craze is over this bag. Most importantly, the Bottega leather is some of the most beautiful handbag luxury leather that I have ever put my fingers on like baby soft skin and it's amazing. Secondly, this opulent, amazing chain that you can see from miles coming down the street. I mean, it is amazing. Whether you're wearing it on your shoulder or whether you're wearing it like this, however you may, this bag is a showstopper and I had to have it when I saw the blue because it was waiting for me and that was my color. Like I said, I saved $500 on her, so I think we ended up paying $4,100 and then I think here in the States, she's $49 or $4,800 maybe a little bit more because I know prices have gone up. I have worn the heck out of her since I've had her in October. She's gorgeous. My mom was with me on the trip and my mom wanted it so bad. She came home and she's like, I'm determined to find 
find a Lux for Less. I said, well, you go ahead, mom. I have found Express has one, but not all the colors. I have found a couple of these little boutiques around town. They've got them, but they're just not as opulent as the real one. I mean, this is a hard bag to replicate. Let's, let's put it that way. Well, I went over to my mom's one day and she's like, you're gonna die when I tell you what I got. And I was like, what'd you get? What'd you get? She goes, I found your bodega bag in the same color. And that was the other thing. This this blue color, it was brand new. And I'm like, mom, you're gonna have a hard time finding that. I almost died when I when she showed it to me. It is so, 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 so good for Lux for Less version. I mean, probably one of the best I've seen. A lot of the Lux for Less ones, the size of the bag are way smaller too. So as you can tell, this bag is exactly in diameter the same as mine. The only thing that I will tell you, this is leather, but it's not that beautiful bodega leather, but it's still really good. Really good. <laughs> The chain, we can compare those side by side. It's not as thick and opulent as mine, and it's a little bit different gold. It's more of like a different kind of gold. We'll just put it that way, as to where this has got like a beautiful bronzed gold to it. This is just kind of like that cheesier gold. If you didn't have this by you, and you were just carrying this, so forget about the cheesier gold and this beautiful bronze gold. This looks just as good, just by itself. That's not something that you would like eye catch. Oh my gosh, look at that cheesy gold strap. You would not and it's pretty darn large so this is probably one of the best knockoff cassette bags I have ever seen I will link her at the bottom in this particular instance of course I am going to thumbs up both because I have this I love it I bought it I thought it was well worth the purchase I've worn this bag the heck out of it casual dressy everywhere a lot of people were talking about that it's not that comfortable the, the chain is a little heavy but you just get used to it and just because because it looks so good on your body, you're just like, I don't care, I look so good. So this one, I'm a huge fan of. Would I buy a second one? Probably not, just because, I mean, this bag is to me is kind of like a, a one of a kind that you just need to have one in your closet unless you're just completely obsessed with it. This is a great bag, I love it. But this little trusty old little Lux for Less version that my mama found, she's a beauty. That concludes our Lux for Less episode three today. And this is probably one of my best Lux for Less finds ever. I also wanted to point out to you all that if you are wanting to get the luxury version of this Bottega cassette bag, you just have your eyes set on it. Another option, and it's something that I do as well, I love pre-loved or vintage or pre-owned luxury. Some of my favorite places to shop are Fashion File, The Real Real, and Clothes Horse Anonymous here locally in Dallas. I think that if you're still on the hunt and you don't want to get the Lux for Less, which this is a great alternative uh, for both quality and the look, I have seen these bags on pre-loved. Keep searching, and I think you can do those like on the Affirm where you can pay it over four payments if you don't want to do it all. And I think you can save probably, you know, a good eight or nine or to a thousand dollars, maybe not a thousand because these are still holding their value. Definitely worth checking into to see if you can find your color and the one that you want. I love pre-loved, you know, someone else's junk goes to somebody else's closet and they just give it some love. And I love vintage shopping. If you follow me on Instagram, I am a Clothes Horse Anonymous partner and I love to feature all of their pre-loved items there. They get some great shoes here in Dallas and they're also on line as well. Again, it's worth looking into. So I just wanted to keep that in mind for y'all. Oh, I forgot. Talk about Lux for less. What I'm wearing today is from H&M's Designer Studio. They've launched a designer studio kind of like how Zara did. They're kind of getting some better materials and designers in-house that are making this line called the Designer Studio. It's a little bit pricier, but it's very, very luxe. I'm gonna stand up here for a little bit. Cutout is all the craze right now and the embellishments. I'm coming out with a new episode for my spring and summer 2022 trends and what you should be wearing and what's coming in right now and in crystal embellishments are here to stay. They're not just here for Christmas and the holidays. They are here for you beauties to rock and shine on. I saw this dress, I think it was in Vogue or on the runway somewhere a couple months back and I'm like, I loved it, but I did not like the price. When I saw this at the H&M catalog, I about d -d -d died and I had to have it. And I wish you could see the quality of the dress is just absolutely phenomenal. It's just gorgeous and the beading is gorgeous. So 
stay tuned. Okay, I think that concludes everything today. I hope you enjoyed our episode three. I have so much fun with these series because I do this on a daily basis in my life. I love a good Lux for Less find and I love a good luxury find. I like sprinkling a little bit of both into my life and I think you should as well. I think your budgets will appreciate you for it and your spouses as well if you have one. Please let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you'd like to see or add to this series that we can feature here because I'm going to keep doing these. I'm getting a lot of requests and I'm going to keep going because I love doing them. I love showing them to you and talking in depth about why we should shop luxury and why we should go with the Lux for Less version. In that conclusion, I greatly appreciate you all being here today and watching and tuning in. And as always, my message on this channel is very simple. It's where luxury meets affordable style. But more importantly, I inspire you to get out of your comfort zone and try something new and wear confidence and be you and be kind because that is style. Thank you for tuning in and until next time, have a great rest of your week.